Welcome to my Balloon Twisting for Beginners series where I teach you how to twist balloons like a pro. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks in Derbyshire in the UK. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a butterfly using just one 260 balloon. There are some designs where you might need your balloon to be just a little bit longer than usual. So these 260s, as I've said in earlier lessons, are called 260s because they, when they're inflated, they are two inches diameter, approximately, and approximately 60 inches long. But sometimes you need just a little bit of extra length and there are a couple of ways you can do that, you can achieve that. And the first one is to just pinch hold of the tip, tip end and with your thumb and forefinger just drag that balloon through your thumb and forefinger. Okay, and what that's doing, you're stretching the latex. So these balloons are made out of 100% latex. If you're using the Qualitex or the Sempertex brands that I've recommended, these balloons are 100% natural latex rubber. And so it's like a rubber band and you can stretch it a little bit. And for this one balloon butterfly, I recommend you stretch the balloon just that little bit. So we want to inflate to a four finger tail. Okay, so that was seven strokes of the hand pump. Okay, now what I'm not going to do, I'm just going to put a twist in that to trap the air. So what I've said to you before is um, let some of the air out to soften the balloon here. We're going to soften the balloon in a slightly different way today. So I want you to tie a knot as you would normally, but don't pull it tight. So be very gentle when you finish that knot off. And that gives you what we call a soft knot. So what you can actually do is take hold of that knot and roll that soft knot along the end. So you've now got just that little bit of extra balloon. You can squeeze your balloon here and you get just that little bit of extra. The other way we can make our balloons a little bit longer is to give our balloons a bit of a squeeze here and stretch the balloon once it's inflated. Okay, so we're just running our hands, our balloon through our hands and that's just stretching the balloon. Okay, so first of all, twist off a small bubble of approximately two fingers in size. And then I want you to make a large loop and then take that small bubble and just pass it through the center of that loop and then split your balloon in half so just fold your balloon over pinch the balloon at the end here hold on to it and then just rotate that top bubble and that splits that large loop in half. And then push these two sides together and twist. And we can take that bubble and just wrap it round and that's just going to lock everything together. So those aren't going to come undone now. And then I want you to make another loop. So I want you to leave yourselves with a little bubble here of about an inch and a half or so. And then wrap, twist that loop together. Okay, so you've got this little bubble poking out here. And then we want to take this loop, fold it in half, and we're going to do the same thing that we did here. Split it in half, so pinch hold of it and twist, just rotate that top bubble and that splits the bubble in half. Push the two sides together and then you can get hold of everything and just twist it all together. Okay. Just position your bubbles. So we want to just move these two loops to the side. 
we want to position these two loops this way. Okay. And on mine, I need this bubble to be at the bottom and this one to be at the top. So I just need to move them around. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to like the video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future balloon twisting for beginners videos and I'll see you again in the next lesson.